Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. The rapper Eminem just said he wants to kidnap dumb little blonde girl Ivanka Trump. Liberal rapper Eminem, who has made a career out of writing songs full of misogynistic content, somehow has the gall to criticize President Donald Trump. He began his anti-Trump campaign last year, and just continued it with a brand new anti-Trump album called Revival. In one politically focused track called Like Home he said that our president is a white supremacist and called his followers a cult. Spat out him and him about Trump. Someone get this Ariana sheet slash time to bury him, so tell him to prepare to get impeached slash everybody on your feet slash this is where terrorism and heroism meets, square up in the streets. He went on, this chump barely even sleeps slash all he does is watch Fox News like a parrot and repeats slash while he looks like a canary with a beak slash why you think Ben transgenders from the military with a tweet question mark slash he's trying to divide us slash this shit's like a cult, but like Johnny, he lonely unite us. Eminem wasn't content just to disparage the president. So he then attacked Ivanka in another song called Framed and talked about how he wants to kidnap her. Saying Eminem, Donald Duck's on as the Tonka truck in the yard slash but dog how the fuck is Ivanka Trump in the trunk of my car slash got to get to the bottom of it to try to solve it slash must go above and beyond, cause it's incumbent upon slash me, cause I feel somewhat responsible for the dumb little blonde girl slash that motherfucking baton twirler that got dumped in the pond. Thankfully, Eminem. S hateful anti-Trump album is getting savaged with some of the word reviews of the rapper's career. Said an Uprox critic about the new album, the main problem with revival is Eminem. Sure, there is technical rapping prowess, but after 20 years, the content has grown stale. A 45-year-old man lamenting over the failed, toxic relationship from his 20s doesn't feel enlightening, it feels pitiful and exhaustive. Are you glad this creepy? Dumb album is a failure? Jimmy Kimmel blames all Republicans for Vegas they should be praying for God to forgive them. Jimmy Kimmel attacked all Republicans for the Las Vegas shooting. Jimmy Kimmel started putting himself into politics when he used his three-year-old son's heart surgery as a way to attack Republican health care. Now he is at it again. Instead of telling jokes he's saying nasty things about all conservatives. I've been reading comments from people who say, this is terrible but there's nothing we can do about it. But I disagree with that intensely, because of course there's something we can do about it, there are a lot of things we can do about it, but we don't which is interesting, he said. Because when someone with a beard attacks us we tap phones, we invoke travel bans, we build walls, we take every possible precaution to make sure it doesn't happen again. But when an American buys a gun and kills other Americans, then there's nothing we can do about that, said Kimmel. But he is against all of those things. Can he not see the irony there? S. Second Amendment I guess our forefathers wanted us to have AK-47s is the argument, I assume. Orlando, Newtown, Aurora, San Bernardino, every one of these shootings, the murderer used automatic or semi-automatic rifles, which are not weapons used for self-defense, they're weapons designed to kill large amounts of people in the shortest possible amount of time, said Kimmel. He then attacked Republicans. They should be praying for God to forgive them for letting the gun lobby run this country, said Kimmel. He is a mean man. Joe Scarborough has a complete hissy fit over President Trump. President Trump made a kind and thoughtful speech after the deadly shooting in Las Vegas. However according to MSNBC's Joe Scarborough, it wasn't enough. Scarborough claimed that we need a new president because Trump is just too mean. It's pathetic. It seems to me in 2017 what this country needs the most right now, 
if we want to talk about resistance, it's courage to do the right thing when it comes to the issues. Also courage to show kindness and even the smallest of action, said Scarborough. We're a coarsened culture. We have an unkind leader whether you voted for him or not, whether you support him or not, most people will agree Donald Trump is not a kind man. He is a mean man. He's crude. He's brutal. He says horrible things. He's insulting, said Scarborough. No actually, most of the country is sick of political correctness, or censorship under the guise of kindness. And it seems to me that with all of this anger and rage pouring at us, with all of this bad news coming at us every day, the most defiant thing we can do is show uncommon acts of kindness. To be kind when nobody is expecting it, said Scarborough. That starts with me right here. That starts with all of us right here because we have to give our children a reason to believe that things will get better and fight against all of the bad news that we're receiving. Be defiant enough to show that, said Scarborough. MSNBC argues that hunters use silencers so deer don't hear themselves being shot. The second the Las Vegas shooting ended, liberals gleefully jumped at the chance to spread anti-Second Amendment propaganda. Not only are they calling to ban certain types of guns, they are also spreading complete lies and showing their total ignorance. Hillary Clinton made headlines when she called for banning silencers, also known as suppressors. Liberals have been scratching their heads, trying to figure out why someone would want a suppressor. The mainstream media argues that it makes a gun completely silent because it is depicted that way in their favorite action movies. However, a silencer is as loud as a jackhammer and is only used in 0.003% of crimes. MSNBC's guest and former FBI agent Manny Gomez showed just how dumb these people are. Sportsmen, hunters would make an argument that they need silencers so that their target, whether it's a deer, etc., don't hear the shot. But numerous other sportsmen have shot from muskets when the Founding Fathers started the Second Amendment up until now successfully killed game animals without the use of a silencer, said Gomez. Just think about the logic here. Why would you need a silencer to kill an animal? If you shoot at the animal it dies. It gets us more assassinations and a higher crime rate, silencers were made for one purpose and one purpose alone that's nefariously kill people with little evidence and little to no sound, said Gomez. No it's so gun owners don't go deaf. Tom Brokaw just told Americans to organize against the NRA, it's ridiculous. For their special coverage of the shooting tragedy at the Country Music Festival in Las Vegas, NBC brought in the venerable Tom Brokaw to weigh in on the situation. Unfortunately, Bias Brokaw took this as an opportunity to blast gun rights and encourage Democrats to organize against them. On today, Brokaw responded to NRA spokeswoman Dana Loesch's statement that 10 NRA members didn't do this, Stephen Paddock did. Commented Brokaw colorfully, already, gun enthusiasts are locked and loaded, ready for the coming debate after Las Vegas. He continued by saying that this is an issue that requires the best efforts of all of us, wherever we stand on this issue of who should own guns and what kind of guns that they own. This has to go to the top of the agenda in American life it seems to me. Thankfully, Matt Lauer pushed back on this, saying, yeah, but isn't that the problem when you say no matter where we stand? There's a huge divide in between the different thought processes on this. Brokaw continued his tirade on Megyn Kelly today, where he addressed the show's liberal audience directly, saying, well, I would say to this audience, and any audience before which I appear these days, we are where we are because of the power of people who wanted these kinds of guns. And the NRA managed to organize them and get them as a political force in America. So the question is, if you're not happy with what has happened, your individual obligation as citizen is to organize on the other side. And that's possible as well. He continued, the NRA has a lot of money, obviously. And if you're running against the NRA, in a lot of the western congressional districts for example, you're portrayed as a traitor to America. You know, 
you're not in favor of having people who have weapons, and that's after all, how the country started. We're a long way away from that second amendment in which we said that a militia is important to our country. I think that we have to step up, all of us, and speak up. Do you think it's irresponsible for Brogat to rile anti gun liberals up like this? Liv Meryl Streep just bragged her new movie will force Trump to be more respectful. Liberal Hollywood actors, who at times play people who matter in TV and films, often suffer under the delusion that they themselves matter. Instead of just sticking to what they, or, at least, some of them, are good at, they think that because they constantly have cameras pointing at them they have the right to run their mouths about politics. In a notorious example of this from earlier this year, acclaimed actress Meryl Streep used her time on stage at the Golden Globe Awards not to thank all the people who have helped her, but instead to criticize Republican Donald Trump. Streep caught no shortage of flack from this, but it seems like she did not learn her lesson. She recently acted in a new movie called The Post about the liberal Washington Post and its coverage of Richard Nixon. The movie clearly tries to draw parallels with the current Trump administration. In promoting the movie, Merrill claimed that President Trump should watch her movie, because she says it would lead him to be more respectful to people who do not agree with him. She claimed, dubiously, I actually think he may really like The Post, weirdly, because it is a great movie, a patriotic movie. When asked what effect the movie would have on Donald, Streep arrogantly said that it would transform him into a better person. Commented the actress, what effect do I hope it will have on him? Well, he would stop the shenanigans and give some respect for people who are operating on their principles and not on their appetite. Do you think Merrill needs to grow up and have some respect for our president?